I'll do a quick little video here. I was asked by a viewer about my notching tool. Um, this is not a how to notch video. I'm just showing him what I've made here. This stupid thing don't want to focus. Um, this is just an eight penny nail flattened with a hammer uh, and fouled square filed square um, I'll put a link to Roy Miller's uh, it's, it's called Roy Miller's deep notching technique to his channel uh, it's Roy Miller Flint Ridge but in it I mean he explains how to use the tool I first had this mounted in an antler and was pushing like straight in and I was having to use as much strength kind of basically to hold the uh, tool as I was to pushing well Richard Anderson at uh, Anderson Lithics came up with the idea of mounting it kind of horizontally in a T type fashion and tried that and it, and it really works for me a whole lot better um, Again, if you watch Roy's video, he explains how to go about using this. But uh, just he, he said, you know, you'll start at the bottom of your notch and kind of take two notches wide or two flakes wide, I guess. Uh, starting out, don't take too much. Just kind of get your notch started and then come over. Start at the bottom of the notch. And about a third up on the platform, not above the center line, or you'll snap it in half. Um, and then just kind of load up the pressure and push in, and it'll pop off the little C flake. And then I'll go to the ups, upper side of the notch, square it off, back down to the bottom side, square it off, and then just make sure the middle is uh, kind of square and again what I'm ending up with is a square notch not u-shaped just square shaped um, turn it over come back down to the bottom portion of the notch about a third up on the platform load up and then went it went clean uh, <clears throat> so just clean it up again, squaring it out. That platform's kind of in the middle. There we go. Flip it back. Don't break it. <laughs> This is already broke anyway, but flip it back over. And another thing also, um, keeping this tip square, you can see it's kind of rounding off a little bit on this side. But what I will do, I'll just flip my tool over and I've got a whole new square side to work with here. Uh, again, going down to the bottom, third way up on the platform. I broke it, which ain't no big deal. Um, <clears throat> it was already broke anyway. <sighs> Probably got up on it too much. I really can't tell you exactly what I did. But I'm just trying to make the point of doing the video. Another thing I will do, and I didn't do it here, and again, this could be the result of it also. I've got a little flat piece of stone I'll put just in the middle of my leather. I um, guess you could maybe use a flake, you could use anything that will provide some st uh, stability for when you're pushing. That way it doesn't go down flattening your pad, your pad fold up, snap it in half. Again, that could have been what just happened, but it shows you that it does happen. But uh, again, I do have something usually underneath my leather to provide a little support, so hopefully that'll help you 
I've tried different notching techniques and again this has been pretty much the only thing that I've been able to get to work for me um, but there's the tool and I will also put up a link to Roy's video down in the description of this video that way you can uh, watch him and see exactly how he does it and just maybe it might work for you too all right see ya